So, as I'm sitting in my fifth period math class, I can't help but overhear Cindy Jacobs and Gwen Patterson conversing back and forth. At first it seems just like their typical mindless gossiping, but as I catch bits and pieces of their conversation, I hear the term glory hole and suddenly find myself focusing more and more on it. I try not to look interested as I hear them talking. They occasionally glance at me to make sure that I'm not paying them any attention. I take some comfort in the fact that these two, perceived as the biggest sluts in school, would never suspect that I have probably had more cock in me than both of them combined. I'm just more discreet about it. So, you just let guy go there and then what? I mean, like, how do you know whose cock you're sucking? Cindy whispered a little louder than she thought. You don't. That's the hottest thing about it. A dick pokes through a little hole in the wall and you just go to town on it. Gwen explained to her ignorant friend. Where was this? Cindy wondered. That nasty-looking porno store out on Route 6? You go into the back and they have these little rooms. A couple of doors are marked with an X, and those are the ones for girls that want to suck some cock. There was this one guy, and oh my God, he was huge. He had these two little freckles on, on the head of his dick, and it kind of looked like a face. It would have been funny if he wasn't so damn big. This went on until the end of class, and I listened covertly as Gwen talked about how she sucked off five anonymous guys. My pussy was more than a little wet by the time the bell rang, so much so that I decided to skip the last period so that I could go home and get myself off. An hour and a half later and I was panting as I came with one dildo in my pussy and another in my mouth. I laid there recovering and even in my post...